Good morning, guys. So I'm out here in the garden this morning and I wanna talk about an issue I've been dealing with for the past couple of weeks. Can you see this huge tree up there behind me? Yeah, there's a couple on the other side too. So all of these trees are in my neighbor's yards. I have one in the neighbor on this side, that side, and that side. And all of these trees are full of woolly aphids. Now, I never knew what a woolly aphid was <laughs> until this year, but it literally looks like it's snowing feathers out here every day. Not only that, this stuff, um, these aphids, they suck on the leaves of these trees and it produces this honeysuckle. So this sticky solution is like dropping from the trees like rain and it's covering everything down here. It's all over my pond enclosure, it's on my plants and the shrubs. And yeah, it's kind of an issue. I mean, you can clean it with soapy water or an insecticide, but it's kind of a nuisance. So I've been cutting and trimming trees like almost every day. But like I said, the trees are in my neighbor's yards. So I have, can only trim what comes over into my property, which is a lot. I mean, yesterday I trimmed most of the leaves that were on top of the pond enclosure back here. And then on the other side over here, I had some that were laying all the way on top of my shed. So we kind of cut back on that tree up there. So today I'm actually going to be cutting some more of these away and the one that's in front of me that you can't see. But I'm going to give you a close up of what it does to the plants and the shrubs and everything that's around. So hold on. Those little white things are woolly aphids. So this is what it does to everything below it. So I don't know if you can see all of this sticky solution that's on everything. All of this little honeydew that it's called is, I mean, it's on everything. It's even on cords, the power cords. It is, I mean, it's literally just, this stuff is leaving a black powdery solution on everything. And because these things are literally, they look like feathers just falling out of the sky. It's leaving them sticking all on the leaves and on everything they touch. It's horrible. It makes me feel bad even being out here just breathing because I literally feel like I am breathing this stuff in. This stuff is on everything. This was the end of day three and as you can see that's a lot of branches for me to have already been cutting for three days and I still had several more days to go.
By day eight, I realized those same trees had self-seeded inside of my hedges. I found about four trees that day that I had to cut out of the hedges. All right guys, so I've been filming this video for a few days now because every day, like I said, I'm cutting down trees, I'm cutting back branches, and it's taking a while. And this stuff, like I said, it's just flying around everywhere. If you don't know what a woolly aphid looks like, I'll put one up on the screen for you so you can check it out. Yeah, they're kinda cute and kind of creepy at the same time. <laughs> I always see it and I look at it, it's like, I keep thinking like, this is what a bug would look like if it was an angel. You know, it's got these feathers and looks, you know, wings and, you know, it's just kind of white and soft looking, but literally they will die just from you touching them. They're, they're so soft that if you just touch one, that's it. It's just falls apart, smushes, disappears. It almost like it turns into a dust. But I also had all of these trees were growing up inside of my hedges that I didn't know about. So once they break through the top, then I can see them. So I had cut down four of them today and I'm still working on the trees too. But like I said, I got the hat on and it's not sunny out here. And the reason why is because when I pulled one of the trees through, white went everywhere. I mean, this stuff just came down on me like snow <laughs> so yeah I got a cover now so now I got to clean up this and head back to the other side so this is one tree that was inside of my hedges so I was actually able to get most of it out I didn't get it all the way down to the ground but most of it is out and the other two I've already chopped up and there's still some more in here, but like I said, there's so much of these little things flying. All right, around. guys, so this is my look today. I'm completely covered, hair covered, because I am about to tackle that section over there. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of those aphids flying around up there. And I don't want them in my hair. <laughs> so this should be my last day, and hopefully I'll take care of the majority of them. Can you guys see all these things? All right guys, so the sun is going down. It's been a prosperous day. Started off with church, ended up out here working in the yard. As you can see, there's a lot that got cut down. <laughs> but now I gotta cut it all up and put it in the bags. So hopefully it will help control these until the rain starts and kind of washes them away. So thank you guys for joining me. And like I said, if you guys have any issue with woolly aphids, let me know what you guys are doing to solve your issue.
Don't forget to like and subscribe.